What's up guys, it's Georgina. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, tonight, it is New Year's Eve and I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me. This is like, it's actually like New Year's Eve right now. This is the makeup that I'm gonna be wearing and the outfit that I'm gonna be wearing. So super excited to show you guys. Um, you hear fireworks in the background. It's very loud, but it's New Year's Eve, so can't do nothing about it. <laughs> Hey guys, so as you could hear in the beginning of the video, the fireworks were really really loud so I decided to go for a voiceover just for the makeup part though. Um, there is a big part in the video where I do actually talk and show you guys my outfit, accessories and everything like that. So um, yeah, I just started out by applying some foundation. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way in the color Sand with my Sosu by SJ Beauty Sponge and just blending that in. Um, then I decided to put on some cream contour. I'm using the Sosu by SJ Contour Sticks in cool and warm and just applying this on my face, cheekbones, forehead. You guys know the drill. Um, so yeah, just putting that on my face and then I'm gonna blend this out with, oh yeah, there I saw that. Um, the contour stick was literally the shade of my actual color, but I'm blending this out with a stippling brush from Beauty Bay, my favorite, you guys know. Um, and then for some concealer, I just um, put a little bit underneath my eyes. And then I also went over with the, um, well, I used the Too Faced Born This Way and the Benefit um, concealer because I wanted to brighten up my under eyes a little bit more. And then I also blended this out with my Sosu by SJ Beauty Sponge. Sorry, guys, I'm so bad at doing voiceovers because I never do them. But uh, it's the Benefit Boing Concealer, by the way, in number six, and then Too Faced Born This Way in uh, Warm Beige. And then I put on some powder. This is the Huda Beauty Banana Bread Baking Powder, and I put on so much of this. Please do not judge me. I literally went for a really, really heavy duty glam makeup look because obviously I wanted to last. The whole night so yeah then for my bronzer i'm using the anastasia beverly hills saddle bronzer this has this has been one of my favorite bronzers lately it is so freaking good it is really pigmented though but i mean if you just be if you're just careful it's gonna be all right so yeah just putting this on my cheekbones everywhere else i put the cream contour as well um also i don't know if you guys can hear but my voice is literally gone still from new year's um so yeah that's great and then for blush i'm using the glowing and grease palette and picking up this middle shade right here kind of this corally shade it is super super pretty um but this was also super pigmented so i literally only dip my brush in there like once or twice and yeah but this blush is really really pretty though it has a little bit of shimmer in it um which is that which i like as well so just putting this on my cheeks kind of giving myself a little bit of color bringing some of the life back into my face you know what i'm saying um yeah i always go really overboard with my blush as you guys can tell then for my eyeshadow i went in with the abh carly bible palette and i took these two colors kind of like the purpley um transition color and the brown transition color i'm pretty sure it's called chai and i just went in with a blending brush and i put this in my crease um for my eyeshadow i wanted to kind of match my eyeshadow with my dress because i was wearing a purple lilac colory dress so i wanted to match that with my eyeshadow so yeah and then oh this is just me blending again, but yeah, I'm just blending and just, um, well, yeah, that's it really, oh my god. And then I went in with the um, Beauty Bay Nude Matte Palette and I decided to pick up this darker transition color right here. Um, I picked this up because I wanted to make the look a little bit more smoky and dark and just kind of, you know, give it a little bit more dimension, a little bit more color. 
um, because obviously it's New Year's Eve and I wanted to go for a very glam look so yeah that's what I'm doing right here and then three two one <laughs> I'm using the tropical wonders eyeshadow palette and picking up the color um, firefish this really really beautiful purple color um, it's not too purple because I wanted to like my makeup to be colorful but not too much like I didn't want it to be too purple so I just decided to put this on my actual like eyelid um, but not really bring it into the crease too much because I still wanted that just that neutral transition color in my crease like I didn't want everything to be purple if that makes sense you guys know that I'm really bad at explaining like what the f um and then i went back into the nude mattes palette and i took this it's not really a black color it's kind of like a really really dark gray color i think if that's correct and i put this on my lower lash line but kind of only on the outer part of my lower lash line um and then in the end of this clip you will also see me dragging this color a little bit like up my eye to kind of create a little bit of a cat eye winged liner situation so i kind of like um i'm pretty sure i'm gonna do it right now I'm kind of like dragging it up yeah there you go that's what i was doing um so yeah and then in the next clip you're probably thinking oh my gosh this looks different because i put eyelashes on and also a little bit of eyeliner but i didn't record that because i'm literally the worst at doing my eyeliner and lashes on camera because to be honest like it takes me 20 minutes to do my eyeliner so i don't want to bore you guys with that but i just did a really really tiny black wing and now i'm just applying some black eyeliner this is the um anastasia beverly hills dark side eyeliner and putting this in my waterline and then i went in with this beauty bay liquid eyeshadow in the color opal very very pretty um purpley color i went in with this really tiny brush and put this in my inner corner because i wanted to have like i wanted the look to have a little bit of a pop a little bit of a sparkle because my dress was also purple but glittery and sparkly so i wanted to um, put a little bit of glitter into the makeup look as well and I thought this looked really really cute and just gave it kind of like a you know a little something something difference so <laughs> then I went in with the Mama Ma Mitchell sub-zero highlighter palette and I picked up the color in blankets this color looks white in the highlighter palette, but once you put it on your face, it is a very pretty pink purpley highlighter, as you guys can see. Um, this is like one of my favorite highlighter, palette, highlighter palettes when it comes to kind of like a little bit more of colorful highlights, you know? Um, so yeah, this is a really pretty highlighter. I'm just applying it on my cheekbones and I also applied it on my nose and chin and cupid's bow. I didn't show that and then I also didn't record me applying lip liner wow what a youtuber I am but I applied the dose of colors nitty-gritty lip liner that's my favorite and then on top right here I'm applying mac whirl lipstick and I thought this would go very pretty with this look so here is the finished makeup look I really loved my makeup for new year's and um yeah, right now I'm going to show you guys my outfit and I'm actually going to be talking. Hi guys, so there was a little bit of a break in between me doing my makeup and right now because I did um, my hair while I brush it out because I kind of like did it this morning already. Um, and I put on my outfit. Well, I'm still putting on my outfit. And I'm super out of breath, but I thought I would film for you guys right now. Okay, so let me calm down a little bit um i'm like so stressed out i took this rescue remedy spray because i'm so stressed out but it's not helping i took it like i don't know what like maybe an hour ago but i just hate getting ready for like big days or like big events or whatever because it just i don't know it makes me nervous but I'm just gotta calm down now um okay so i put on my dress but it's not on properly as you might be able to tell so my outfit i kind of um 
matched my makeup a little bit with my outfit so the theme that i'm kind of going for for my new year's look is kind of like old school 90s meets 2020 <laughs> oh my god i'm literally in a ghetto da, 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 da. um okay no but this is my dress so oh yeah this is what I was saying. I kind of matched my makeup a little bit with my dress and like my outfit and stuff that I'm going to show you guys right now. So I just have my hair straight as you guys can see. Where's my comb? I'm literally such a mess right now. Um, but yeah, my hair is just straight and then I matched my makeup with my dress. I did purple and a little bit of glitter in the inner corner because my dress is obviously glittery. I'm wearing these super cute earrings. They're kind of like angel earrings. I don't know if you guys can see, um, there's fireworks in the background, by the way. Um, yeah, these are cute little angel earrings from a pretty little thing. Then my necklaces are just from Aureus Studio. Um, this is just the necklaces that I wear all of the time. Oh my god, it's so loud. Like, it literally stresses me out so much because I hate fireworks. <sighs> Calm down. Okay, so then for my outfit, I'm wearing this dress. This is from Meshki. It is kind of like a lilac light purple color it has glitters on it and you can kind of like as a cut up right here it shows a little bit of my bra but i don't really like i don't really care to be honest like um you can kind of like play a little bit with this you can like pull it up or like pull it down a little bit i don't know like what looks best because when i pull it down i feel like this is just like looks kind of saggy so i might pull it up just like that right, guys i know that i shouldn't stress but i'm literally leaving in 10 minutes and i'm not even done yet but um, I'm gonna show you guys my heels right now. These are my cute little mules that I'm going to be wearing. These are from Semi Shoes and they go really well with the uh, old school and 90s type of vibe. They have a really, really small, short heel, so I'm gonna be able to walk in these all night. Oh my god, there's dust on there. Super cute um, diamond sparkly heels. And then for my bag, hold on. Um, wait, where is my bag? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> For my bag, I'm carrying this one. I'm pretty sure this bag is from Ego Official or from Pretty Little Thing. I'm not really sure. They, I think both sell the same bag or like kind of the same bag. So yeah, this is the vibe that we're going with. Lilac sparkly dress, sparkly bag, sparkly mules and... That is my look for New Year's Eve. I'm gonna put everything on right now. I also still have to pack my bag because I'm sleeping over at Jelano's house. Um, and I have to do that all under 10 minutes. And I have to like put stuff in my own tiny little bag. I don't know how I'm gonna do that because this bag is literally tiny, but oh my god. Um, I've walked in these already and they're like really, really comfortable. They give like a little bit of height, but they're just like, oh my god, how do I show you guys my heels without <laughs> my underwear? But these are the cute little mules. So yeah, this is the look, kind of like old school, cute, girly Brad's doll vibes. Um, so yeah. Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up right now because I have to go right now. I wish you all a happy, happy new year. I love you all so much and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys back in my next one. <laughs> Bye.